Welcome back, everybody. It's Jeff from JNK Stay in Vegas. And in this video, I'm going to show you the cheapest room here at the Four Queens. Let's get in there, check out the room, check out the casino, check out a couple restaurants and a couple of deals you can get here on JNK Stay in Vegas. Let's get into the Four Queens. <laughs> Where's my coffee? I found my room. Let's get inside and get our room and go to the registration desk. Let's go. I've heard the talk on the town. They say you're alone. They say that you're Here we are, this is room 708. Has two queen beds in here. 690 rooms here at the Four Queens. You are in the heart of Fremont Street, right next to the D. And on the other side is Golden Nugget. And Fremont Casino is right across the way. We are right on the Viva Vision sign here. This has two queen beds. Price just right, we're in the middle of the week. Tell you about that price in a little bit. Of course, no resort fees, so you don't have to worry about that hidden charge. And they give you a little fun book and everything. There you are. So the Four Queens was opened in 1966 with all those orange lights and the big Four Queens. In 2007, they renovated all of their rooms. There are 690 rooms here. They also have the pool that's up on top of Binion's, which they share sister properties. And Binion Steakhouse is just underneath that on the 24th floor. I pulled up some old footage of friends of ours on a trip that they took to Vegas and we were with them. It was when you could actually stop on the individual floors of the Binions that was abandoned. You have to stay tuned for that video. So let's get on a room tour. Check it out. Woo! This bed is a little soft, a little cushiony, and I found my room! Where's my coffee? No, where's my room? I found my room. And this is what they give you when you come in. This little fun book here. They even have the little history, which I'm gonna tell you about a little bit later on the Four Queens. I can't even remember the last time I've had room service. Haunted tours to the Hotel Apache in here. Like I was saying before, I am staying in room 708. And I'm so happy to have found my room finally. So these elevators are the South Tower elevators. They are right off the main registration. guys so I came down here from the room and checking out Magnolia's for a little late night dinner I got an open face turkey sandwich I haven't had one of those in a long time so I'm looking forward to that and maybe we'll have a little nightcap and check out another place Okay, everyone, so let's take a look at the fun book here for uh, Binions and Four Queens You can see Magnolia right here two-for-one entree. That's worth it right there you got two for one on Binion's Cafe. That's across the way, obviously. Chicago Brewing, you got two for one on some handcrafted microbrew. So a whole bunch of stuff in here. Big thumbs up. Dinner has arrived. My open face turkey sandwich is here. Got some stuffing, mashed potatoes, and some turkey. It's really cool. 
right behind me you've got the entire casino laid out and you can kind of look down and everything that's going on even see a little bit out into Fremont Street a few moments later well I would say I liked it Magnolia here has everything from burgers to chicken tenders to even pizza great place to come if you don't know what you really want my hot turkey sandwich was $16.99 coke that I got $3.99 way expensive on the coke but you know sign of the times so all total in $22.74 again in the fun book as you saw has a two for one you get that when you check in that's like money right there let's go check some other places out too well that was a really good meal let's uh Let's get a nightcap right now. Let's go check something else out. Hey folks, if you're enjoying this video so far and you're finding it informative, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to J&K Stay in Vegas. All right, let's get back into this Four Queens video for 2023. I think we should go in here and maybe get a nightcap. What do you think? Let's, let's go get something. Chicago Brewing Company, they've got an area over there with the TVs and they got a bar here, they got a cigar lounge, and they got a little something and everything. You know, some wings and some pizza and of course beer and all that. I got the sampler just to try a couple of drinks and see what they have on offer. It's six for 11 bucks here and it has all these beers here. So I'm gonna try that out and I'll let you know how some of these are. All right, here's our sampler. There are one, two, three, four, five six seven eight and i think it said six flavors and there's actually eight on here i don't know if i'm gonna be standing up after these but let's see if i can get all eight so hardaway this cute little uh, beer glass cheers everybody that's really good i think i'm gonna be sloshed after all these i'll be sleeping pretty good tonight so our next one here is the all-nighter oh that is smooth this almost reminds me of when we did our 12 days of j and k during the christmas time all right beer number three the rambling wreck cheers everybody it gets on that little darker side and i'm, I'm good on that beer number four here it is old town brown you definitely taste that malt and a little hint of chocolate. Guys, you ready for this? Beer number five of eight is Sundown Stout. But the, woo, if you're a fan of dark beer, I think you would really like this Sundown Stout. But this is beer number six of eight. I don't know what it is, but it's seasonal one. I'll ask him when he comes back. That's really interesting. I don't know what that is, but it's another Another kind of darker beer. I didn't even cheers you. Cheers. Right, so we're almost done with these. Beer seven. This is seasonal two. Another kind of dark beer. Cheers. Ooh, that's right. I thought I heard him say root beer, non-alcoholic. But this tastes really good for root beer. It's been a minute since I've had root beer. That's tasty. Root beer is on point here at Chicago Brewery. You can see what I like more. <laughs> this is beer number eight. So seasonal number three, again, I don't really know what it is, but definitely gonna check it out. Cheers, it's pretty good. Not bad for this uh, seasonal three. Hopefully I find out what it is. So our last one, beer number nine is a Weisenheimer. Cheers. You can definitely taste like the, the fruit aroma. I was not wrong. It was eight little beers and a root beer, which again, the root beer was bomb, $11. That's it. All of these for $11. I mean, how can you not beat that? Really good down here at the Four Queens. All right, next up, guys, we've got the little food court up here. It's open 24 hours, dryers. We've got some pizza and some Subway. Let's go check it out. Here is Hugo's Cellar, great place for steaks. We haven't tried it yet, but I've heard it's very good. Next up, everybody, it's Wana Taco right next to the Fremont Street Experience. They've got 849 Wana Tacos. Get your choice of two tacos of carne asada, carnitas, or chicken. Check these out. These were really, really good. And definitely good spot to see a band on a Saturday night here on Fremont Street. So these 
These are the North Tower elevators. It's closest to Fremont Street. Let's get upstairs. Well, everyone, I'm back in the room eight little beers later. It's already 11.45 at night. I am really tired. It's time to jump in bed. Man, 7.30 in the morning. I gotta admit, bed was pretty comfy. Didn't hear anything after midnight. Pretty calm night down here in Fremont Streets. Yeah, I think it's time to uh, get in the shower. Let's check out Fremont Street at 9 a.m. Not too many people. And I also forgot to mention, everybody, that the Four Queens is free with your all-access card. Got your uh, free parking right here. They'll validate it when you first come in, as long as you get that card. If you don't get the card, which would be kind of silly not to do, you will have to pay $5. But So that's not a bad deal for staying here. So $5 a day or just get validate it at the hotel desk or any of the restaurants as well. Well, a room was $55 on a Wednesday here in July. $7.15 for tax, $62.15 out the door no resort fee can't complain about that you did hear a little bass in the room up until about midnight and then it was really quiet if you're a light sleeper i would suggest staying in the south tower i was staying in the north tower but it may bother you the other side of the hallway on the north tower those would be your odd rooms i was staying on the even side which is the fremont side or again the south tower comfortable accommodations just walk right out your door and you're on fremont street again let us know in the comments below if you stayed here or you want to stay here based on this video and just let us know in the comments. Let's have a discussion down below. And always, if you liked it, hit that thumbs up and hit subscribe to JK Stay in Vegas. We've got a lot more coming, a lot of stuff you don't want to miss out on. So make sure and subscribe. And if you don't want to miss any of these vlogs or any of our live streams, make sure to turn on those bell notifications to be alerted to every time we post a new video or go live. All right, everybody, as always, stay safe and stay silly. Bye-bye, everybody. What are you doing with that camera over there? What are you doing? And on the other side, you've got... Golden Nugget. Do another microphone check, microphone check. Uh, you will come down...